Kruger Salati is built on the historical Salati railway line that was only completed in 1912 and it eventually connected the goldfields of the northeastern Transvaal with Komati Poort, which was the border into Mozambique and eventually the line went on to Delagoa Bay. For quite a while it was the only access for people from the Highveld coming to the Kruger National Park or its predecessor the Sabi Game Reserve and what they used to do is park the train on the northern side of the river, have an enormous soiree around a bonfire during the course of the evening, and then pull the train onto the bridge and sleep there for the night before carrying on into the park to enjoy their game viewing. The name Shalati is interesting. It comes from a 19th century Shangan chief Ness. It was very unusual at the time to have a female chief leading the tribe. Africam is tremendously excited to be partnering with Kruger Shalati. We've put up three cameras here that will give you a sense of the magnificent experience that you can enjoy. Here we are in the eating area or restaurant, beautiful bar cappuccino machines, helpful people, and of course delicious food emanating from a magnificent kitchen through the swing doors. You can choose to eat inside or outside here at Kruger Shalati. It's always nice when the weather's pleasant to sit out here, but it can be very hot and it can be quite blustery and rainy as well, and then it's nice to go inside and enjoy a strong cocktail, a glass of beer, or something softer. There are 24 rooms along this bridge, stretching probably about 400 meters in to end. And we are now going into the bar slash tea slash pool area. I don't think the pool was on the original train. Below this gorgeous pool is my favorite camera, and it is called the Shilati Sunrise Camera because it faces east out over the Sabi River and the greater Kruger National Park gorgeous sights and sounds from this position. We've chatted to the guides here and one of the most special things you should look out for here is a Cape Clawless Otter that does its foraging in the water below. You can also see two famous crocodiles, one massive female and a slightly smaller male and they like to bask on the rocks here. Just under my feet is what we're calling the Skukuza camera. And it is eye-lined with some of the beautiful big trees that grow on the banks of the Sabi River. There's a jackalberry, a shotia, and a couple of leadwoods. If you enjoy birding, this is a wonderful camera for you. You can enjoy many of the Kruger's usual suspects, hornbills, booboos, small raptors, and lots of others that come down towards the river. If you look down below, there are a whole lot of little game paths, and most recently, the guides have said that there is a leopardess and two cubs that's been frequenting this area. So look out for this mother leopard and her two cubs. They are very territorial, so if she's been seen here once or twice, she should be seen here again. And also, there'll be a male or two hanging around using the area as territory. Each room is a refitted carriage that makes the most brilliant use of space to create a luxurious apartment with every comfort your heart could desire, with a gobsmacking view to match. Just below my feet is our third camera and I'll give you one guess as to what it's called. That's correct, it's called the bridge camera. The bridge camera looks down into the Sabi River. There's a really nice little rocky outcrop over there and perhaps you'll be lucky to see some leopards lying about there during the heat of the summer. Otherwise, I think you'll see a lot coming down to drink in those pools just underneath the bridge. This camera is situated below the deck of the honeymoon suite 
don't worry, it doesn't turn to face into the windows. If you do come to Kruger Shalati on your honeymoon, and frankly, why wouldn't you? This is the magnificent view that awaits you from your bedroom, your deck, your pool, and indeed your very own remote Africam camera. We find ourselves at a crossroads. To the left, the magnificent Kruger Station restaurant, and while you can have any meal you like there, it's particularly atmospheric in the early evening. To my right is the magnificent Kruger 360 degree cinema, where you can watch virtual reality environmental cinematographic feasts, while at the bar you can watch all the AfriCam cameras and make sure that you don't miss out on anything coming to the bridge.